This is incredible. Doctors in the UK have successfully treated Huntington's disease for the first time ever. The disease is a devastating degenerative illness that runs in families. It's caused by a single gene defect that slowly kills brain cells, leading to dementia, paralysis, and then death. For more on this cutting-edge treatment, I am joined by Edward Wild. He is the Associate Director of the UCL Huntington's Disease Centre and Senior Investigator on the trial. He joins us from London this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. It's lovely to be here. Thanks for having me. So walk us through. How does the treatment work? So the treatment is a gene therapy, um, which means that it is a one-off treatment, a one-shot treatment. Uh, once it's been administered, it doesn't need to be given again, and the treatment remains active for the person's life. So um, what we uh, do is we uh, it's a 12-hour, roughly, neurosurgical operation, and this gene therapy is injected directly into the substance of the brain, an important part of the brain in Huntington's disease uh, called the striatum, which is really important for movement and thinking skills, which all are affected by Huntington's disease. So once the uh, gene therapy has, inject has been injected into the brain, um, it contains a virus, a harmless virus, which in turn contains a, a stretch of DNA that has been specifically designed to accomplish one thing, which is to tell neurons to make less of the harmful protein that causes Huntington's disease. So we're not, edi we're not editing the person's own genome, we're adding an extra little bit of, an, of DNA, um, which essentially reprograms the neurons not to make as much of the mm -hmm. protein that is harming them. Um, and it's all a, a, a technique that's, uh, that stems from the, discover the discovery of the Huntington's disease gene in 1993. Um, so, but it's taken this long really to turn it into a treatment that is meaningful and actually alters the clinical progression of Huntington's disease. It's really incredible. So this treatment, this surgical procedure, I understand slowed progress of the disease by what, 75% in patients after three years. What did that yes. look like for patients in terms of their symptoms? Well, thank you for putting that number on the screen because honestly, I keep having to check that I'm not dreaming when I hear <laughs> the 75% figure. This is the first time anything has worked to slow the progression of HD. Um, and uh, the fact that it's a 75% slowing of progression with the first thing that works is just beyond our wildest dreams. I should say diplomatically and for the record, uh, I'm based in the UK, but this was a multi-site study, multinational study at sites in the US and uh, Poland as well as the UK. So it's a true international collaboration. Um, what that means for patients is um, that they could have years or decades of either high quality life with minimal disability or if we can um, get the drug, the gene therapy, uh, delivered to patients who have the mutation that causes HD but don't yet have symptoms, then we could be in the business of preventing or delaying onset. And with a 75% slowing of progression, if that's, if that's done early enough, we could end up in a situation where for the first time our patients can look forward to a healthy, happy old age. Edward, this is incredible. And you mentioned, like, this is not a dream for you. This is real. What is this moment like for you to see the success of this treatment? Uh, for me personally, I've been working in HD for uh, almost exactly 20 years. It's 19 years and 11 and a half months. <laughs> and it's, it's a, a week of coincidences. It's also ex almost exactly 10 years since I gave the first dose of a Huntington lowering drug, a drug that lowers the production of the protein. Um, and so it's been a long journey for me, but that is nothing compared to how long families affected by HD have been struggling with this illness from generation to generation with no hope. And, and what, really, um, what really this news represents is the, the final, well, the first, result that finally rewards all of the work that the community of families has put in to understanding the disease and helping us to develop and test these treatments. It's a great day for the for the HD community and this result belongs to everyone. And when do you expect this treatment could become available? 
So the, uh, the Unicure who make the drug are already in intense discussions with the FDA, the US regulator. Uh, and um, it's, uh, in my opinion, I don't want to get ahead of anything, but in my opinion, it's, it's very likely that the FDA will approve that drug. And that could happen as early as the uh, first few months of 2026. So not long wow. at all. Um, there will, of course, then be, uh, and in, in parallel, in fact, the, uh, the, there'll be discussions with the other regulators in Canada, the UK, Europe and elsewhere. Um, and the hope is that uh, this drug will be approved rapidly. There will be a question about cost. Mm -hmm. Gene therapy is always expensive, but it's important to remember that that cost is all up front. And so an expensive treatment that only has to be given once, but gives people years of healthy life uh, it could end up being a, a fairly straightforward case to make even on the financial level. Edward Wild, uh, congratulations to you and the entire team, senior investigator on the trial. Thanks for walking us through. Thank you. If you like that video, make sure to subscribe to the Your Morning YouTube feed, where you can find all kinds of new content posted every weekday morning.